Hey Queens, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my wash and go routine. Um, I haven't uploaded a hair tutorial in a long time, so this may not be the best, but I promise it will definitely get better. Um, I heard a lot of comments about what do you do for your hair, um, your wash and go routine, how do you get your curls to be how they are. So today I'm going to be sharing that with you guys. If you want to know how I get these popping curls, don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and let's get into it okay first things first I already detangled this side of my hair I like to work in sections of threes um, three on this side three on this side and pretty much what I like to do is start off with um, some warm hot water is just regular water in here and I'm going to go in with the African Pride Moisture Miracle Aloe and Coconut Water Detangle and Condition Pre Shampoo and this is what it looks like it just has like a little jelly consistency which it really helps to create the slip to detangle my hair if I don't detangle my hair before shampooing it's like a whole mess so sometimes it gets like really really tangled my curls are really 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 tight I deal with a lot of shrinkage I try to wash my hair at least once every two weeks but this time I let it go a little bit too long so that's what I'm gonna go in first I'm gonna go in with my spray bottle spray my hair the product just works better for me if I, my hair is kind of damp. And then I'm just going to work this product through my hair. And when I do detangle, I make sure that I use my fingers. I don't use a comb or anything. It's just easier for me to use my fingers. And I like to take a handful of the product and just work it in my hair. Okay, so my hair is completely detangled. Like, oh my God, like I literally can rake my fingers through it. And this is how I like for it to be before I wash it. Once it's like this, it just makes it easier for me to style it. Okay, so now that I have my hair completely detangled, I'm gonna go in with the Miracle Curls conditioner and shampoo. This is the coconut and Jehovah oil one. So once I'm done washing my hair, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what my hair looks like. Um, it's completely clean. I went in straight in with my shampoo, then followed up with my conditioner. I only left my conditioner in for maybe 10 minutes or so because it's already like almost 10 o'clock and I don't want to be up too late doing my hair. So first things first, leave in for leave in. I normally only use the Quench by Aunt Jackie's, which I'm obsessed. This is super affordable. I mean, only like $4.95, but it gets the job done. But I don't feel like it makes my curls super defined. Um, I normally mix it with the Curls Blueberry Bliss. This is their leave-in conditioner, which I am obsessed with. So pretty much what I'm going to do is work in sixes. Okay, queen, so now that I have my leave-in in, um, now I like to go in with my curl cream as well as my gel to start the styling process. But for today's curl cream, I'm going to be using the Miracle Curls Cream Putty. This is the first time I've ever used this one, but I don't have much left of my favorites. And my favorite is, uh, my favorite curl cream is the Afro Sheen Crown Defining Cream, which that's my favorite, so I'm going to finish up the rest of that as well as the Shea Butter Coconut Oil Curl Definer. And I'm almost done with that as well. And I pretty much just like to work in the same sections. And then today I'm gonna be using the Extreme Gel. Um, this is what I use to keep my curls in place. And normally when it's time for me to add my curl cream, I always use some type of paddle brush. So today I'm gonna be using this one and I'm just gonna start from the back and work my way up to the front. <laughs> 
And what I like to do is first run it through with the paddle brush to make sure there is no knots or anything. Pretty much what I like to do is take a nice amount of the curl cream and just rake this through, making sure to work it all the way down from my root to my tips. Even though it looks like a lot, the product always dries up. And then I like to just rake the product through. And now I'm gonna go in with my gel and I just take a dime size for each section. And I'm gonna start to finger curl my hair. And then I'm just gonna finish this step for the rest of my hair. Okay, queens, that's pretty much it for my wash and go routine. Um, I go through different type of products. I like to try different things. So you guys can definitely look forward to more hair tutorials from me. I've definitely been writing down ideas about different, you know, hair things to do. I also want to get into trying wigs. And I want to try that out with you guys, especially this year. I want a lot. I want especially this year I want to do a lot of new hair content so yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon in the next one bye